Hello and welcome back. So here we want to uh, continue with adding permissions. Now we want to make it easier for the admin to select what particular permissions somebody is allowed. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to create an interface just like this one where we uh, look at the permissions that are there and then we can add and edit things around around that okay so first of all also viewing being able to view categories maybe somebody is not allowed that you can also put a permission for that as well so let's go to the permissions page so we can start with viewing of categories and just say that's also a permission wait a minute so permissions here <coughs> excuse me so as you can see there could be quite a lot of permissions because just on categories we have like four of these now for every item you add there you may need all these four and more so just four items we get 16 permissions etc etc so it can be quite uh, a large amount and uh, let's see here if I go to functions now this is temporary, so we're going to delete this. It's going to go into the, uh, what's this? It's going to go into the database. So, but what I want to do is restrict the viewing of categories. So I'm going to copy this if statement, the user can, and go down to where we are reading. And this is the, this part right here. So category, maybe we can leave the add new. I don't know. It's up to you how much you want to show the user that has restrictions. So in this case, maybe if they're restricted in viewing, you may want to show them the add new button. Uh, maybe they're allowed to add without viewing. I don't know how that makes sense, but who knows? So let's just put it there and put view categories like so and then we can put a closing tag after the table right about here instead of typing laziness uh, let me just copy this from here and let me paste it after the table right there let me move that here move shift tab and let's tab everything to move inward like this yeah great awesomeness so now since we don't have this permission it's going to say you don't have permission to perform this action but adding i don't have permission either so everything looks restricted this back button doesn't make sense here so we can just remove it because where are we going back to anyway this is like the upper level okay so so the way to deal with uh, permissions is to first display the thing restricted and then the next part is to restrict the link that goes to that page. So we should hide this as well if the user has no permission anyway. So that's uh, another thing to consider. But it depends. Maybe you want them to be able to edit yeah, because if they can't view the categories, they can't really click the edit and delete buttons either. Um, it doesn't make sense for somebody to add if they can't view. So maybe if they can't view, then they can't do the rest. Uh, then you can just hide the link. But it's always better to put the uh, restrictions anyway. Okay, so we have this, but let's make it more, uh, more official so let's put a thing here called permissions so user permissions so i'm going to copy everything it's going to work just like categories so i'll copy everything from the categories view and then right here where it is right click on admin and paste the information let's save this instead of categories it's permissions so let's come down here let's just say permissions like that and save. Okay, so every uh, reference to category should be permission, right? So let me just control D, select every reference to 
to this, yeah. And change that to permission. Okay. Uh, all right, right. Actually, you know, things will be a bit different here. We are not going to have edit permission, delete permission, etc., etc. But anyway, it's okay. So instead of this category as well, let's find all instances and just change that to permission. But let's change them anyway. We'll see how this is going to play out. Permissions will not have a slug because it's not needed. There's no need for them to be enabled or disabled because the permissions we're displaying here really, um, oh, they will be in the database. So maybe they will have the disabled. So we'll leave that there. So row permission, row ID. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, they will have this edit and delete. My bad, they will. Okay, so let's leave that there. Categories also. Let's get all instances of this. We'll change to permissions like that. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So of course, we'll go to the permissions thingy. Whenever we add some new functionality, just come here to this and add those permissions there. This is supposed to be the job of the one that's coding to add this. That's why I'm not adding these uh, adding of this to the database. This is a coder's job to give the overall permissions that the website will have. So this one will be permissions like that. Okay, great. And uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Now we go to the admin section itself and let's duplicate this function for categories. So where does it end? It ends about here. So I'm going to copy everything. Did I go too fast? Probably not. Okay, so up to the very top here and Shift D, Control Shift D. Let's grab this one, categories, and let's edit all instances of that here within the scope of this function. Don't go beyond this function. Let's change that to per missions okay even this single category let's change that to please log in blah 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 let's uh change that boom 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 just make sure you don't go beyond this one function we are almost there this is the end so let's change that to per mission okay singular mm hmm Okay, very good. Now, actually, these are user roles, not permissions per se. So I'm doing the wrong thing here. Hmm. I am actually doing the wrong thing here. So what I'll do is let me grab permission singular. Uh, because permissions come as part of a row. So I think it's better if we say edit row instead of permission. So I'll just type row like that. Okay, so these are user row. So which means if I go back to the permissions view, this page also should not be permissions view, it should be row. So back to admin, where is admin? Right at the end, yeah, rows. So instead of permissions, sorry about that, let's rename this to rows. It will make more sense that way. Let me grab every instance of permission and change it to row as well here. Control D. Quite a number. Uh, row, like that. And then even the capitalized ones because this is case sensitive. Where is a permission capitalized? Oh boy. Nothing? What's going on? What is going on? Do you have permission? Delete row. Oh, okay. I guess everything uh, 
is good. Oh, we still have categories over here. Uh, this one should be rows, like that. New row, edit row. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so with all that in mind, now let's add a link to this whole thing. So in the admin header, we should add a link down here on this side menu. So the side menu is right here where we have category. Uh, this one should be Puro actually, so categories. But let's duplicate it and then add rows. So this one, just for the what we see, we're just going to say user rows. But here it just remains as rows. Okay, good. So back here and let's refresh. So we have user rows now. The thing here should be people, I think. People. Uh, I don't know. I think I already have people. Do I? Eh, that looks better. Okay, so if I click on this, I have rows. It says you don't have permission to perform this action. Okay, so for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the functions, uh, this one, temporarily. We want everything to just return true. That way we have access to everything for now. Okay, there we go. So permission, no, it should be row. And then active. Mm, and then permissions. Hmm. Okay. So on this one, we have to create a few things. First of all, the table. So let's go here. We want to create a table that will have rows that we can select from, user rows. So quickly, new table. Let's call it rows. Of course, we need an ID. And then we need the row name itself, whether it's disabled or not. And then since it's not only one permission that we can add to a row, but many, we're going to leave it as it is. So ID is fine because they're not going to be so many. This is a variable character. Rows are not usually that long. So let's put 30 characters. This one is tiny int because it's just true or false. Let's put a dis default uh, value of zero. And then here, uh, this cannot be no auto increment, primary key, then we are good. So let me save that. Okay, so everything is good. Disabled maybe may have an index, but uh, the rest, not so much. Okay, so there we go. Here we'll have rows. So in here, what we will have is we can add a row, edit, etc., etc. And now since we have this thing, we will need a model that will read from this. So what I'll do is go to models. The category model uh, closely resembles what we are trying to do. So I'll copy everything from it, right click on models, new file, paste, save this. And uh, instead of category, this one will be row. So let's go row save then here it will be row so every instance of category probably should go to row change to row disabled we don't have a slug no need for that and the table is rows let's change this instance to row and instead of categories we change that to rows Okay, everything else remains as a row, can only have letters, blah, 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 blah. So you can put your validation here to suit what you want. That's entirely up to you. But at least now we have a model that can help us read from the database. Okay, so let's close all that. And so now if we go to admin, where we have rows here, we can instantiate the correct thing. Instead of category, we have row like that. Okay, and everything else will fall into place. So just like that, let's come back here and refresh. And there we go. So no records found, which is cool. Here we can add a new row, a new row. Let's cancel and you see things are working as intended. 
but instead of this we should have row so let me go to the view where is that uh, rows.view on the table uh, there should be one which has permissions here so that's fine I'll say permissions plural and this one should just be a row the row name whether it's active and what permissions you have in that row that's how things are gonna be and this one will be row disabled blah 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 we're missing one here which is the permissions so let me just put an empty uh, table data thingy there like so okay cool but let's um, let me see here okay so once we refresh this is what we get row uh, active permissions and action very good so categories user roles and then add new so in the next video let's see how we can actually add a row to the list here and then add some permissions right okay